So here we are again at the Groundswell Dye Garden and uh, things are looking reasonably okay at the moment. Uh, there's a few weeds coming up uh, but otherwise not too bad, not too bad. The, uh, the weld is, uh, is coming on alright, it's nice and green. I suppose the, the thing, the big thing, the big difference uh, that I've noticed straight away is the fact that most of these plants are not growing as fast as you would expect them to grow in a proper, you know, in a proper garden. Uh, and that's probably because they're not getting watered very often and the soil may not be that good either. Um, and it's very exposed up here. So uh, it's maybe gets cold nights and there's maybe there's some other factors involved. This is the um, this is the Coreopsis dias Coreopsis. As you can see, very pleased with this. It's growing very nicely. And next to it, we've got the 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 woad, and uh, that's coming up quite nicely. Hasn't been too nibbled by the flea beetles, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, it seems to be coming on all right, but again, slow, slow by comparison to what's in our garden at home. Here's the transplanted woad. As you can see, this is doing very well. Again, a little bit on the slow side. You can see that some of the leaves of the woad are going a little bit purple. That's a sign of stress. And you can also see the leaves have been quite nibbled by flea beetle. That's those little white specks on the leaves. Next to it, we've got a mixed bed here of chamomile, uh, uh, cosmos sulfurious, and some African marigold. You can see the, the African marigold here has gone definitely a really strong purple, and that's a, again that's a sign of stress. Um, I think though that once they get going, they will. They will, uh, they will go green again. They haven't been too chewed by slugs, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, that'll be the effect of the slug pellets we've put down. And over here, we've got, uh, we've got some uh, it's a Dyer's Woodruff, which is just, just a little bit of it there is in flower. Uh, that's doing very nicely next to it. Uh, we have some uh, ladies bed straw and that's looking very healthy indeed Now I'm really not surprised about that because it grows wild uh, in in this area of the country no problem loves it loves growing on the chalk then in the middle uh, we've got some some madder and it's not really looking too well it's beginning to put out a few side shoots but very slow and the leaves are really, you know, they're pink and they're pale green. Really, it's really quite struggling, struggling quite a lot. Um, this is the Chinese woad. Uh, doing quite well, actually. Doing quite, I was quite surprised. Nothing much seems to have eaten it, apart from those flea beetles nibbling away at it a bit. Um, and over here, this is the Japanese indigo bed. This is where we sowed a load of Japanese indigo seeds and probably very few of them have come up. Or if they did come up, they have been eaten. I suspect the latter. However, I planted some, some, uh, some seedlings the last time I was here and they're not doing too bad. Again, they, they, have, they have been eaten by the flea beetle, quite chewed. Chewed. The, see the leaves have been uh, chewed quite badly, but they will recover from that, I think, without any problem. They're a little bit on the yellow side, the leaves, and that might be that might be a sign of uh, chlorosis uh, as a result of us using some quite fresh manure in here. The fresh manure may take out some of the nitrogen in the soil rather than put it back so it's not until it's properly rotted down does it start to put the nitrogen back so it might be it might be that I don't know I'm not quite sure anyway they're doing okay uh, in the middle 
we've got uh, some uh, tansy, the tansy here. That's looking quite nice and lush. Uh, and also the sawwort, which is again looking very nice indeed. And I'm not surprised about that because it is a native plant and this is, these are the sort of conditions it grows in. This is the Dyer's Greenweed and that's recovered quite nicely. It's growing, it's growing quite strongly now. The, uh, and this is uh, Goldenrod, two species. This one here which is Canadensis and this one which is a tall species uh, of which I do not know the name. However, it's, uh, they're both quite vigorous, doing quite nicely. Finally, over here is some some Dias coreopsis plants, which seedlings, which I put in last time I was here. They've been a bit nibbled by slugs, but they're just about surviving. So they should be okay. They should be okay, I think, providing we don't get any other ma any more major slug attacks. Okay, so that's that's about it. And until next time, bye bye.